Hello! In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to search by domain. One of the easiest strategies students can use when doing research online is to filter their results by a specific domain. Now if I type into my search bar the term dinosaurs, I'm going to get all kinds of results. Over 55 million results. Um, the first result, of course, at the top is Wikipedia, and then we have some results of dinosaurs in the news. Down here I can see we have something from the BBC, and then we start to get into some kids' games and activities, enchanted learning, uh, Shepherd software, we have a dinosaur's TV series, dinosaur train, all kinds of different results. But if I'm trying to do some research on dinosaurs, these results aren't necessarily going to help me. My teacher might also want me to make sure to have some reliable, credible sources for my research. So to do that, an easy strategy is to filter my results by domain. So what I do here in my search bar is I type in the word site, followed by a colon, and then the domain I am looking for. A good domain for research would be .edu, edu meaning education. So let's filter those results by edu domains and see how we do. So just by adding in that extra um, search filter, you can see all of my results now are .edu. So this is paleobiology. Dot sci, dot edu, dinosaurs. This is from the National Museum of Natural History, the Smithsonian Institution. So that's a very reliable source of information. Next, we have a university, the University of California Museum of Paleontology. Again, another reliable source of information. We're looking at museums. We're looking at universities. These are very good sources of information. So just by filtering my search by .edu, the domain .edu, I get much more reliable information. And my results went down from 55 million to 187,000. Now, of course, that's still a lot. I could still filter my search even more for more specific results. But immediately, I've made my results more reliable, just with a very simple technique like that. .edu is one. Um, domain I can search for. I can also search for .gov. Now, gov, of course, is short for government. These will be government websites. Again, government websites, usually we can trust. They're usually very reliable. So here we have the Dinosaur National Monument from the U.S. National Park Service, uh, Dinosaur Valley State Park, um, dinosaurs found in Texas. Again, these are more reliable, um, but they may not be as specific in terms of the .edu sites. It depends on your topic. For some topics, the .gov uh, site uh, domain will be more useful. Um, lastly, you can also search for .org, org standing for organization. That's another search filter you might want to use. These will be organizations. Um, Obviously, the first one at the top will be Wikipedia, and again, your teacher may or may not want you using Wikipedia for your research. Um, unfortunately, here we start to get into things like Dinosaurs TV. Uh, again, we're back into Dinosaur Train, the games, and we have some uh, resources here for teachers from Scholastic. So again, these may not be quite as useful. Uh, here down here, we have the National Museum of Nat uh, Natural History. Um, which might give you some information as well. So these are three uh, strategies that you can use searching by .edu, .gov, or .org. So just to remind you, when you're typing in a search, you can add in the, uh, the word site, S-I-T-E, followed by a colon, followed by a period or a dot, and then the domain that you are wanting to filter by, .edu, org or gov. I hope you use this the next time you're doing some research and hopefully you'll re find your results are getting more reliable, more trustworthy, and more credible. Thanks for watching.